Hello, I'm Simplify. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this Minecraft painting effect in Photoshop. This is the image that I'll be using for this tutorial. I'm using a canvas size of 1080 by 1080, but you can use any size you want, as long as the canvas size is not too large. The first thing we need to do is convert your image to a smart object. Then go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, scroll down till you see the Details tab, and turn up Noise Reduction all the way up to 100. And for Sharpening, set it to 25, then hit OK. Now go to Filter again, Sharpen, and Sharp Mask. For the Amount, set it to 80, and the Radius, set it to 2. For the Threshold, leave it at 0, then hit OK. Now we need to repeat these two steps one more time, so select your layer and go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. Once again in the Details tab, turn up Noise Reduction all the way up and the Sharpening set it to 25, then hit OK. Then go to Filter again, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. Once again, the Amount to 80 and the Radius to 2, then hit OK. Now go to Filter again, Filter Gallery. In the Artistic folder, apply Poster Edges. Set the Edge Thickness to 0 and the Edge Intensity to 0 as well. Set the Posterization to all the way up and that will be 6, then hit OK. Now go to Adjustments, Posterize, and set the amount to 25. This will depend on your image, so just play around, so keep it between 15 and 30. But in this case, I'll do 25. Convert both of your layers to a smart object, so just select them both and convert them to a smart object. While your layer is selected, go to Filter, Filter Gallery. In the Artistic tabs again, select the Cutout effect. Set the number of levels to 7 or 6. This will depend on your image, so just play around. Make sure your image is neither too dark or too light. And the Edge Simplicity set it to 2. For the Edge Fidelity, set it to 3. Then hit OK. Now duplicate your layer by hitting Ctrl J and delete the smart filters on your copy. So just drag them and delete them. Set the layer to Multiply. Then go to Filter. Stylize find edges. If it's too harsh on your image, just reduce the opacity a little bit, but this looks fine for me. Now select both layers and convert them to a smart object one last time. Then go to Filter, Pixelate, Mosaic. For the cell size, keep it between 20 and 35. But for this example, I'm going to set it to 30. Then hit OK. Then I'm going to go to Filter once again, Sharpen, and Sharp Mask. For the amount, I'm going to set it to 30 and the radius to 30 as well. Then hit OK. Now I'm going to adjust the levels of my image. So just hit Ctrl L on your keyboard or go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. And I'm just going to play with the midtones a little bit so your image is fairly visible. I'm just going to leave it like this. Then hit OK. And that's it. If you want to support the channel, make sure to check out my website. I provide a lot of free and paid assets. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.